Hey guys, so as promised, here's a video of your confessions from the last confession thread video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the actual subscription yeah. button. Hit the, the bell the, notification. The, the, the actual, like, the actual you, subscribe the button. The actual subscribe button. Hit the bell, and we'll see you at the end of the video. Not really a sin, but whenever my players drank in-game, I made them drink in real life. Then made them roll a d20, and depending on what they got, they get a temporary bonus or negative. So far the players have had no complaints and thankfully I'm decent at improv when the alcohol derails what I have planned. That's <laughs> that pretty sounds good. pretty fun. Yeah, that's not like a confession at all. No. That's, that's actually pretty solid advice. Yeah. I like that. I would, I would think anyone could incorporate that into the game. Yeah. You know? Confession. I loathe the death of my players' characters, but do my best to play it off like I'm actually one of those sadistic DMs who are trying to kill the players' characters so my players feel like surviving is winning and then totally fudge the rules to keep them alive. I fall into that category sometimes yeah. though. I feel bad when people's characters die. I really do feel bad for them. It's like, oh mate, that's shit. But as up. a DM, you're meant to come up with like yeah, hard. Um, look, it just depends. It depends on the group. It's hard yeah. to say. But yeah, no, I, I get, I get that. You know. I once barred a player from playing a character I didn't like, and I made up an in-game reason why. <laughs> You know, I saw that. I was on uh, it was on one of those Facebook groups the other day, and someone said, "Yeah, I ban human fighters from my table." It's like suck my balls. Don't be like that. Don't. Don't be getting on like that. You know what I mean? Just because it's a human fighter does not mean it's like it's not interesting <laughs> because it's not an animal. Yes, it needs to be a dragon. Suck my balls, would you? <laughs> Fuck me. I'm super into forty k lore and tabletop role playing games. I've played everything from vampires to D&D to Shadowrun, and recently even started GMing. Half of my closest friends still think my nerdiness starts and ends with having read Lord of the Rings, even though my interest goes much further back than these friendships, and I'm too afraid to tear down the facade at this point. I don't know, Lord of the Rings is cold though, like, yeah. you know, don't get me wrong, okay, they may think that, but look... Well, well, then embrace cares. your nerdiness, exactly. my friend, just, embrace just, it. Just embrace it, he cares, you know? That's alright, don't worry about it so much. Ever DM. I feel the pain. Played as a player in one game that lasted to third level. Every other game collapsed after a few sessions. I've been playing GMing since 1977. My own games started imploding as I just lost interest in DMing after a while. Yet whenever they want a game, they ask me. I get begged to DM at conventions, etc. Just plain tired of feeling put upon. Oh, sweet, yeah. yeah I, I feel bad I for her. See, forever DMs. It seems like a lonely existence. I know. Especially when you're surrounded with just lazy ass players. Oh, you know? there's nothing worse. And, and you put your time and effort and uh, making up a really good storyline, and then know. it just uh, gets fucked. And over. then niggas go up and say, Oh, do you have any pencils? I don't even. Like, <laughs> <laughs> do you have any pencils? Yeah, like, <laughs> you know what I'm on about? You know that type of player that goes up? <laughs> They've, only, they've probably only got like a couple of dice. Do you have a spare sheet? It's, no. It's like, is there any fucking chance, mate? Come on. Sort of Do you have any pencils? <laughs> but you know what I'm on. Ah, stop it. <laughs> you know the type of player. This is my only real D&D sin. I will always add the stereotypical super heavy armoured, pole arm wielding, seven foot tall, 400 pound giga chad, captain of the town guard, NPC, in every single campaign I GM for especially if it's a medieval setting. It doesn't matter how grounded the campaign is, or the tone, or if the party will even fight them. I will sneak them in no matter what. They will always be some sort of champion fighter, hyper loyal and honourable to a point of stupidity, with many of them having no personality outside of, I like to kill things for glory. The current one is an orc war chief who puts a drop of red paint on his helmet for every kill he gets, which is now completely red and I'm planning to add in a champion human as an end campaign mini boss. Also, I only play human fighters because the rest of the class roster, especially full casters, aren't realistic and will probably immediately die because they never wear helmets. Say what I tell you, human fighters <laughs> are cold. <laughs> Right? Beast and red pills. <laughs> human red fighter. <laughs> human. Sorry. Human. Human red fighter. Yeah. Human fighters are beast and red pilled, and everyone should get behind them because they just are cool. <laughs> and this guy gets it, right? This guy knows that they're just cool, right? I've tried GMing about eight times now. The first session never starts. Nobody ever brings things up, and I've got too small of an attention span to actually get any of the shit done. 
Sad times. I suffer from that. <laughs> Sad fucking times. Yeah. yeah, you're the nigga that shows up and's like, I ain't got a pencil. Me? Yes, gay. I ain't got a pencil. That's fucking. You can tell me that isn't a character, a pair character stereotype. No, it is. I anti cheat all the time. Legit forgetting when penalties are supposed to wear off in Roll20. I still have a strength penalty from two levels ago. I don't remember what caused it or how long it should have lasted. I don't use my strength stat hardly ever, so I just keep quietly waiting for the DM to say something. He never does. <laughs> nice. <laughs> shh, shh, don't say anything. Don't tell anyone. Like, like, I think we all have, suffer from that. I think that happened. Okay, maybe not two levels. Yeah. Maybe, <laughs> that's a bit much. Maybe, but like, maybe, shh, maybe don't until, say anything. Maybe until the end of the session. <laughs> maybe until the end of the session. I think it would be too much if I was like going up next week. Like, yeah, I still got that like, modifying bonus. What are you guys talking about? It's like, <laughs> shut the fuck up, would you? Forever GM, he actually loves doing it. It does take a certain personality type. Because of my job, it's been a couple of years since I've been able to run a game, which sucks, since I did it every week for more than a decade. But I'm considering starting up a Roll20 game to scratch my GM itch. Or, or, check the next time to go, check out the, uh, the Neckbeard or Westmarch server. We always need DMs. We always need DMs. <laughs> so look, if that's something you're so, interested yeah. in, check it out. Also, if anyone wants to be technically... The We're games, closed. They are closed at the minute, at the minute but we kind of want to expand with numbers at the same time. Slowly. Like, slowly increase DMs and players at the same time. The only problem is you would take like 100 players for like one DM and that's just never going to work. No, so we need a lot of GMs. Yeah, you do need a lot of GMs yeah. to keep the if, game if we want to bring in more players, we're going to um, need more GMs out of. Um, also, well, I'll wait till the end of the episode for a bit of an announcement yeah. and we'll talk more of them. All right. The reason why I turn down all efforts to join a campaign as a player is because I know that whatever they do as a DM will be seen as inadequate by me. I have very high standards, almost impossibly high. I know it's unfair, hence why I never join as a player and I'm content with being forever DM. I understand that if you're a DM yourself and you have a, sta- a set standard and you join a game and the DM's just shite, you're like, and then you're con- and then you're considered rude because you're like, maybe you should do this or put uh, this in or do this. Yeah. And then you're considered that guy of the group is, is because it, is, you're is, giving the DM pointer tips. Is, is it worse being a backseat DM? Or being a good DM. Yeah, yeah. Just no, just just be just, just be a good DM, DM instead of a player. Yeah. yeah. You probably have a you enjoy yourself a lot more. Yeah. That's not really a sin. I'm currently playing a knoll who was stolen in a raid as a child and put into the equivalent of a dog fighting ring. He was saved by a lizard folk, played by a female PC. He was out for revenge against his owner. He would have died in the ensuing fight had he not managed to escape his cage and attack his owner as well. Having pity on the small knoll that saved her, she adopted him as her son and raised him like he was her own. However, my knoll is now 78 years old, which is the time when little knolls in this world find out whether or not they'll still hold a connection with you know, yen- Yenugi. Yenugi. <laughs> Yenugi. Yenugi. <laughs> the Knoll Demon Lord of Slaughter and Torture, or don't, and get to live as a normal, dignified race. My Knoll, of course, is 7 foot 4 Berserker, so it became pretty clear which side he fell on. And so begins the sassy, rebellious teenager years of my Knoll's life. Except instead of slamming doors and listening to emo music, it was going into murderous rages, ripping people's limbs off while they're still screaming, soon to be corpses, and nearly killing your adopted mother because you can no longer tell friend from foe while frenzied. That was quite the tongue twister, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Though most of the campaign he was just a big, dumb, good boy doggo with (laughs) occasional murderous tendencies. But not long after I started playing kind of snarky towards his lizardfolk mum PC, I would hang out with the warlock PC and low-key bitch about my (laughs) mum with her like a bloody teenager. There was even a few times where I deliberately use her backstory. Some bad lads, including my owner, killed her unborn egg children. Just to make her sad. PC unsurprisingly handled it like a real mum. And goddamn stride for a girl who is not a mum, but has no reason to put up with me. And we eventually had a talk, and big dumb doggo boy apologised for being a huge shit. PC even told me after session it was really cool roleplay and complimented me on it. My confession is this. The only reason I was able to roleplay that so well 
is because I base it on my actual times, I've purposely tried to make my own mother sad when I was upset or frustrated. One time it got so far out of hand and I made my mum cry. She just walked away mid-conversation, shut herself in her room and cried. I felt like the biggest piece of shit and immediately tried to apologise. After that I promised that no matter how angry I got, I'd never make her cry again. I haven't made the PC cry yet, but I'm working on it. Oh. That's, that's somewhat heartwarming. I, it took a bit of a turn in this video, didn't it? It took a bit of a fucking turn. I know, turn. this is quite a good hearted video. But fight. on the other side, I really like this fucking story yeah, of the Noel being a bratty teenager. Yeah. I really fucking like it. It's a really good honestly, fucking premise for a story. I really like it. I might base a, I might base a character just based on our dog, Moody, because he's just such a good boy. He's such a good boy. He's such a good boy. I've but, already, he's already got gore, all right? I'll tell you guys, if you guys want to know, I'll let you guys know in the comments. But you know what? Good on you for knowing your mistakes to your parents. Yeah, that's nice. Don't treat your parents like dicks. Unless your parents are dicks to you, you treat your parents like dicks. <laughs> you know <laughs> how saying. it is. You know how it is. For my first and last Call of Cthulhu game, I decided to play as an old miner who was looking for his family's killer. May have made the GM rage quit because of another player, chaotic crazy professor character, doing and saying extra dumb stuff his first time as well. Also decided in a murder investigation to walk away from the party as they were fighting amongst themselves. Literally all our combat was between players. Also intimidated a prisoner by breaking his hand. Well that sounds like a fucking twin <laughs> Yeah it fucking does. <laughs> I, don't, I, I, I would like to say it's like I've got questions but I've no but idea. But I don't I, I because don't, it sounds like a fucking I've shit no, show to I've me. I've no idea where to even start from. I'm running a campaign where all the characters are commoners and are all human. Burn me at the stake of you, please, even though humans are cool. <laughs> yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> People get it. <laughs> All their stats are 10, but I'll allow them to make a plus one on their modifiers as long as they take a minus one to another. One of my players decided to use the system to make a character with a minus one to all stats except wisdom. That got a minus three. And he put all the plus ones into strength. Now I have a barbarian bodyguard who has ungodly strength but will not remember any enemy if they leave his sight. Anywho, the confession here is that I like to throw a lot of things at him that require wisdom saving throws. Oh, you wee fucker. Oh, you wee fuck. It of course affects other party members if they're around as well. But yeah, I also plan on trying to kill an NPC that he saved and took in as his daughter. Oh, ah! you horrible fucker. <laughs> you horrible, horrible person. <laughs> That does not deserve forgiveness. That's a sin. That is a fucking sin. Shame. 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 Everyone get in here and start shaming. Get the Google. fucking shame. Where the fuck's the shame? Where the fuck's the shame belt here? Right, hold on. Get Shame. <laughs> Well, I have to say that last film was a devious piece of, like, he's a, he was a piece of work, and I must say. Yes. Well, okay, I would like to thank most of you guys. Your sins are forgiven. It's okay. Don't worry about them. We got them sorted. We had a talk with God. It's and he all, said, look, mate, it's sweet. It, 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 it's sweet. I, it, like, I got enough on my plate at the minute. See all that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, never mind. I can't talk about anything going on, anything topical at the minute. But, like, um, also, got some announcements. So let's move on to that before we talk about anything topical. Um, so, we have another YouTube channel, so we do. Oh, now, another one. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I but know. But this one's completely different. It's completely different. And we're not really... We're, uh, we don't we don't have anything to do with this. For the most part, for the most part. Now, you guys know about my d and yeah, Westmark yeah, server. Yeah, you, you know that server <clears throat> we, we keep we chilling keep, and talking about? We keep yeah. talking about, but yeah, we don't really have the doors open and only a few people can get in. Well... well <laughs> Uh, we're getting some of the DMs to live stream some of their games. Now, the only one that we know of at the minute at the time of recording this is Garbo live streamed a game suite out. I'm going to chop that up and put highlights and like upload it to this channel so well. Um, so as I said earlier on, we're trying to get some more people in, but we really do need DMs to fill the gap. So like every like so ten... if you're a DM, board and, and it, lockdown. And if you're interested, you know, why not? Check it out. I don't know. It's, it's, it's interesting. And like the... Be honest with you, the boys that are on that server are very dedicated and like, you know, it's lively, you know what I mean? Put it like that. There's a ton of people, like yeah. always online. Yeah. There's always someone to talk to on that server, which is quite nice. Yeah. Um, but like that's enough showing for that. But again. if you wanna even just sit and watch a game of D and D because you can't play any of your own. <laughs> yeah. Subscribe to that channel just so you can go and see it. Yeah, it's one of those ones. It's And it's, it's they 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 stream it live so you're able to talk in the comments yeah. with other people. 
and stuff. So it's a bit of fun. Yeah, it's something. I don't know. I look, it's one of those ones either it was going to be a cringy mess or it was actually going to be kind of cool. You know what these are always like, you know. Yeah. It, it always turns into like, ugh, something. But look, I thought I might as well dip my toes in and see how it goes. But look, um, I think we've rambled enough. No yeah. way, no way I would talk about models and stuff. Rambled enough. But that's enough talking for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope all you guys are staying safe with everything that's going on. It's got even worse, yeah. for God's sake, and I don't really want to get more into it than yeah, that. Yeah, I don't want to hear about anybody getting hurt. <laughs> yeah. Just stay safe. Yeah, for the love of God. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you later. Bye.